Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are all doing well. It's really exciting to have you here. Today we are going to continue working on our exterior scene. In the last video, we complete our building modeling. So if you missed that video, you can check it from the card above or from the link in the video description. In this video, we are going to see how to import 3D models into our scene, how to convert them into proxies, and we are going to take a look at project manager plugin and how to use it. Finally, we are going to set up our camera to match our reference image. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay, so the first thing we are going to answer from where you can get a very good 3D models. There are a lot of websites that are offering 3D models, but I'm going to share with you the website that I'm personally used. So the first website is, I'm sure a lot of you know it, is Evermotion. Evermotion is a website specialized in architecture visualization. They offer a lot of interior and exterior scene besides some of textures and HDRIs. I find their 3D collections is reasonably priced. So definitely check them out and they have a lot of variation for 3D models. So that's website number one. Number two, we have CG Axis. CG Axis is my favorite website. They offer a lot of textures and 3D models. They have a lot of 3D collections and some of the details that you will never find in Evermotion website. So definitely check them out. And also their prices is similar to Evermotion. Okay, so the third website to look at is Polygon. And Polygon is known for their amazing textures. But also they have 3D models and HDRIs. And they are always updating their libraries and adding more items to it. So definitely check them out. Especially for interior design, they have a lot of cool stuff it's very hard to find it anywhere else. So these are the three main 3D models website that I recommended you to use. But if you are looking for a specific 3D model and you couldn't find it in any of these websites, then you have to check 3D Sky website and also Turbo Squid website. They have really good 3D models, but the problem is they are a little bit expensive. Just type the keyword that you are looking for and you are going to find a really good 3D models. Okay, so now let's say you have found good 3D models. How you can import them to your project? Open the folder that you have downloaded the 3D models to it and simply drag the 3D Smax file and drop it into the viewport. You have three options, open, merge and x file. Select merge file and that's it. Now you have imported the 3D model into your scene and you can just move it and position it as you like. You have to optimize this model because as you can see, it is a very high poly model. And you can see the poly's number simply by tapping 7 on the keyboard. And you can see now the poly counts is over a million. For we are importing the car model, delete it. Got only 24,000 polygons. So this is before and after. Now how we can like reduce the polygons number by converting the models that we are going to import into proxies. We can do that in a very simple way. Firstly, just Alt and Q in the keyboard. Go to the perspective viewport and open the modify tab. Check that this model is converted to edit poly. So it's not a group consist of a lot of parts. It's only one part as an editable poly. Secondly, you have to check the pivot point. Okay, now after you have checked, it's only a one piece or one object. Select it, Have click on it and select V-Ray Mesh Export. You have this dialog. Now, first thing to do is to select export all selected objects in a single file. Check that out. And also check automatically create proxies. And that's it. You can relocate the folder or rename the file, but I'm just going to leave it as the default. Now press OK and just wait until the 3D model converts into a proxy. Now, as you can see, we have created our first proxy. So select the proxy and you can see now the polygons number is around 44,000. While we are converting it to a proxy, it was over 1 million polygons. So that's definitely will help in the viewport navigation. Now, select the proxy and go to modify and you can view the proxy as a box or a preview from file as a edge or a point or show the whole mesh. I'm just gonna leave it as preview from file. And now we have to fix our pivot point. So select the proxy go to hierarchy, affect pivot only, and choose center to object. After that, go to move tool, right click on it, and right click on the z-axis to zero zero the z-axis. Okay, that's it. 
Now you have relocated the center of the object. Let's import a second model. Let's choose three one, drag it to the viewport and choose merge file. Okay, so we have imported our three models. But as you can see, the model is consist of a lot of parts. So in order to convert it to proxy, we have to merge the parts in one file or one object and after that export it as a proxy. So select all the model parts, hit Alt and Q to isolate the selections and select any of the parts, go to modify and select attach. Now you have opened the attach list, select all the parts and hit attach make sure to match materials id to material and hit ok now we have merged all the parts into one object right click on it and select vray mesh export to export it as proxy make sure to select export all selected objects in a single file and check automatically create proxies and hit ok now we have to also relocate the pivot point so go to higher key affect pivot only center to object after that go to move tool right click on it and right click on the z axis and that's it now you have to repeat this process to every single 3d model that you imported to the project and that's it the method number one to import our projects okay so now let's see how we can import our 3d models by using a tool called project manager so what's project manager tool or let's say plugin used for? It helps us to manage our project. By managing, I mean easily importing our favorite 3D models, materials, texturing, HDRIs, IAS lighting, and so on. And you can get it by going to KStudio website and buy it from there. So is it worth it? Yes, for sure because it will save you a lot of time and will speed up your workflow. So I will leave the link in the description below. This is not sponsored by them, but uh, it's very useful tool and I use it a lot. Okay, now it's back to Filius Max and let's see how we can use Project Manager plugin. So after you install Project Manager plugin, you have this little icon here. Click on it and let's see how we can import our 3D models by using Project Manager. The first thing to do is to open the folder that you have downloaded your 3D models on it. Copy its path and paste it in Project Manager. Hit enter and now you can see your 3D models. Notice we have a beautiful thumbnail for each model and they are all generated by project manager. Okay, so let's say you have a 3D model without a thumbnail. How you can create it by using project manager? Easily just select the 3D model, tap right click on it and go to thumbnail and hit render thumbnail. Wait a few seconds to generate a thumbnail for the 3D model and you can see it automatically create lighting and set up a camera for the thumbnail and now you just have a beautiful thumbnail for your 3d model and that will help you a lot in managing and arranging your 3d models uh, and let's say you have a favorite 3d models you, you want to add it to your library just go to the model and right click on it and select add to favorites and after you add it to the favorites folder you will have this little star here let's say we will add another 3D model, right click on it and add it to favorites. So next time, when are you working on another project, you can easily just download or import the, your favorite 3D models quickly to your scene and you will find it on the favorites folder. So now let's back to our 3D models and let's see how we can import it and convert it easily to proxies by using project manager. Now let's see how we can import a group of 3D models directly to our project. So just select the models that you want and just drag and drop them into the viewport and that's it. Let's change our viewport style from clay to default shading to check all the materials and as you can see we have imported our 3D models with their textures directly to our project but as we said we want to convert them to proxies so instead of selecting each 3d model and convert it to vray proxy let's see how we can use project manager to convert our model directly to proxies so for example for the car model just click on the thumbnail of the car right click on it and select export to vray proxy now select the folder that you want to save your proxy and just hit select folder wait a few th seconds to generate your proxy and that's it let's refresh the the folder 
and as you can see now we have the 3d model and also the proxy file so let's delete our car 3d model from our scene and import the proxy file that's it just click anywhere in the viewport let's go to modify and check it let's select show whole mesh okay so we have just imported our car proxy with all the materials now let's leave it as a preview from file but if you want you can check it as a box okay so now i've imported all the 3d models as a proxies so let's say you imported a proxy but uh, it came as a white material without its original materials so how you can import the object material as we can see project manager has already uh, saved the materials of the proxies so all we have to do is to go back to project manager tab on materials and now just right click on it and add the folder select the folder that we have saved the proxies on it so select folder and now open it just just tap on this arrow here and now you can see all the materials of the proxies are saved here so we just we need to know what's the name of this model okay so 33 search for 33 mod material and now you have a few options you can directly assign it to the selected object so just select the tree and click here on this icon assign to object and we have just assigned it to the object but it's not showing on the viewport so we have just to open the material editor pick material from object select it go to the material and activate show shaded material and do that for each sub material show shaded material and that's it now we have imported the proxy material directly to the to your project so as we have saw project manager tool is a very powerful tool that helps us to quickly import our 3d models convert them to the to proxies and import their materials directly to the project as for the other options like importing the hdri is lighting texturing and so on we will dive into them later in our upcoming projects but for now this is all what i have as an introduction to project manager plugin if you want a full tutorial about project manager plugin comment down below and make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming video now let's see how we can scatter our 3d models into our scene sure you can select the models and tap the w or select move tool and move it and place it wherever you want but this way is not very accurate and will take a lot of time to center the object so there is this tool called select and place and basically it will move your object according to its pivot point so that's why we relocated our pivot point to the zero zero now by using this tool you can simply just select the model and drag it to its location and you can notice that it's changing the rotation of the model as we move on according to the surface of the of the objects so let's activate it and show whole mesh to see it better so by moving it you can make sure that you are placing your objects correctly okay now i'm just scattering the rest of the objects but before that let me show you how i set up the camera to match our reference image so open the reference image just drag it and drop it on the viewport you have this dialog here just uncheck environment map and leave the viewport background hit ok hit f3 and now we can see our reference image if you want the most accurate result you can use and go to filters and select perspective match to match perfectly to the to your reference image but we don't need that in this project and we'll save save it for the upcoming projects now let's just correct our aspect ratio so go to render setup go to the output size and select it as custom and change the aspect ratio to 0.8 and that's it for the aspect ratio now let's set up a simple camera so just go to create camera and change it to VLA and select VLA physical camera from the top view just click on it and drag and release the button go back to the perspective viewport and tap C on the keyboard now all what we have to do is just matching our camera angle to our reference image to fix the vertical lines 
just select uh, the camera go to modify and check automatic vertical tilt and now just adjust the target okay so this is what I've got so far the shot is very close to the reference image and as I said if you want a very accurate result you have to use perspective mesh okay so now let's just scatter our 3d models according to the reference image so just select for example the tree model and just move it keep an eye on the camera shot for an accurate result just use select and place tool and place your 3d models for example the car model by using select and place tool you don't have to worry for the correct placement you can place it anywhere you want okay to save your time i'm just going to arrange the 3d models and i'm going to show you the final result okay so this is the final result after i scattered the 3d models you can hide the environment now by going to viewport style and select viewport background and just change it to gradient color i've just added a couple of blocks as a surrounding buildings now for the lighting from the top view just go to light v-ray and choose v-ray sun of course we are going to change it for the final render but now just for as a test render just put v-ray sun and now add a v-ray sky environment press ok position it now open the render setup and let's change a few settings for the output size just put the image aspect as 0.8 and the width as 1000 from the V-Ray tab go to the global switches and select override material now open the material editor and just add a V-Ray material to it as an instance now go to the GI tab and change the primary angle from brute force to a radius map go to a radius map and change it to very low from the V-Ray tab Go to image sampler and just change it from progressive to bucket. Now let's do a test render. So go to render, press render and just wait for the render to finish. Okay, now we can see our render and it's look pretty good. Of course, you can change the VLA sun angle to match the type of the environment that you want. But for now, as a test render, just we want, we want to check our modeling. It's more than enough okay so that's it for this video in this video we cover how to import 3d models into our scene and how to convert them into proxies how to use project manager plugin to import and convert 3d models into proxies and how to set up a camera to match our reference image finally we just set up a simple uh, render setup and lighting in the next video we are going to work on the materials so make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming video also, if you find this video useful, please give it a like and share it with your friends. That means a lot to the channel. That's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye.